Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask! After accidentally murdering the thief at the end of last episode, the kind of gaining of the All Night Mask is a little bit in jeopardy, but we head off to get ourselves the fifth frog. And to do that, we actually need to fight a boss again. Now, you guys might be wondering, some of you might be wondering, how on earth do I fight the bosses again? Well, these teleporters that we saw last episode, or the episode before in fact, allow us to go straight to the boss. Which we will do and fight Goat again. Goat was the one we had the worst trouble with. We were very, very low HP. So this time around, we're going to try and do this properly. Or at least a little bit more efficiently than we managed to do it the first time around. Welcome back again there, Goat. We need to be Goron Link, I know, but... Well, first and for you. Get you rolling yet again. Some people would say it's not exactly a good idea to let a rampaging monster go around the place again, but you know, we do that kind of thing. For the sake of the frog people! Let's get rolling, eh? So one of the main ways you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to jump directly on his back, which knocks him down, allows you to deliver some- Ow! Okay, we know it's going to go that way again, isn't it? And allows you to deal some punches to his face. She's kind of kick ass. Let's just make sure that I actually dodge the rocks as we take this turn. Hopefully there'll be a jump soon. Mind you, I think we're going to be able to do straight damage to him before then. As you see, we got up above him there. Knocked him down. He's only going to stay down for a little bit. We can get some punches going. Oh, damn, we didn't get powered up in time there. Can we jump up a little bit here? As you see he's down again, we got knocked down as well, but we should be able to deliver a punch or two. Only one again. We're doing significantly more damage than we managed to last time. Let's take the ramp, land on top. Oh, he skidded away. Give him a few punches, eh? I hate how that ramp gets rid of my charge. Surely you should make my charge happen faster, if you know what I mean. Hey, okay, dodge that. Dodge it with all due haste there. Right, we're not going to be able to jump on his back from here. Yeah. We are from here. A lot more successful way to beat him, you could say. Actually disabling him for long periods of time, so we can actually do some proper damage. The next ramp isn't till around the next corner. So we'll bounce off this wall, slow ourselves down. Actually, we're stuck. Randomly enough, we got stuck in all the ice. Timing there, I don't think I'm going to be able to jump on his head. In fact, that blocked me off nastily. Ah, bomb! Uh oh, he's going to turn around if we don't keep up with him. Sir, stop putting him down like that! Okay, next corner is going to be a bit problematic. Oh, he wasn't waiting for us, so we were still within range. Oh, you blooming bombs, I can't keep up. We should have killed him by now. He's literally almost dead. If we could get there, we could kill him. Just by running into his side a little bit. It's probably the one hit away from death. As I said, one hit away. There's multiple strategies you can use, actually. You can kind of wait for him as Charlie. Link. And shoot him in the face with arrows to stun him, supposedly.
multiple ways to kill him, but Goron Link is the way you're supposed to be doing it. Obviously, I'm going around the wrong way again. I always do that after all. Straight into the warp point. Right then, so the frogs are here waiting and ready. All five of them, in fact, because the last one is summoned by using goat. Or defeating goat, in fact. So let's have our little chorus, eh? Don Jero's here. I've been waiting for you, Don Jero. Forgive me if I am mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Jero, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Conducting was spectacular and all of our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we were moved by your spectacular conducting. Yet another heart piece and yet another filled heart container. Great. Yeah, let's do it again sometime. So apart from that, this heart piece is just to be found around this area because of course Gorons can't go underwater. But we have something that can. Azor herself has no issue with it. What's that in this waterfall, actually? Nothing. It's like it's like a wall that actually is... Oh, oh! I thought there was a wall in front of a wall, but it turns out possibly a lens of true spot. We get ourselves only 20 rupees for that little bit of looking around. So the water's pretty shallow here. And those guys keep singing away. They're very, very happy about what we've done for them. Let's keep diving in the water sources and find out what lies be well, beneath, more or less. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything in this pond. So let's go into the next area and check out there. We can hear those frogs all over the place. It's a catchy ditty they've got there. Not really, but you know. Gotta throw them a bone, you know? It should be like the actual Rupert the Bear frog song. So there should be enough water around here. Let's check down. Check down and around, there's rupees to be found, that's for sure. Melted snowballs, I'm guessing. Lots of water to check out, lots of places to scope. But a treasure chest lies in the deeps as well. For yet another heart piece, two at the start of this episode, that's great! But we have to move on even more to find more. More rupees are always good though for us at the moment. We need to check the conundrum with the all night mask. Oh, we can't climb up here at all, only Goron Link can go up slopes such as that. Well, there's also supposedly another treasure chest to be found, hidden away further up the mountain. So what we'll need is a certain few items. Let's first of all sort a location. So supposedly in the snowier climbs of this mountain, so a bit higher up here, we should be able to find some secret platforms lying around.
no clue where, but it's supposedly where all the ramps are, so we'll have a look. Might need Goron Link. Oh, well, he's changed. Change off you, sir. We don't need your mask anymore. Supposedly we need the hook shot and the lens of truth. And of course a scarecrow song. Let's hope we've made that. I think I remember to. Let's have a little look around here. As you can see. Some platforms to another location. We need to make the jump, however, first. We could just go wrap around the side. It'd probably be a little bit easier. Yeah, a lot easier, actually. We'll watch out for those crows, though. So we might want to get the bow and arrow ready just to take them out a little bit. Ah, oh, fired too far ahead. Oh, you're coming for me now. That's a mistake. Oh, I see platforms. Okay, we made that first jump. Okay, now we need to slow down considerably, because that is way too far away. So, we need, supposedly, hey, we can turn this off, we're fine. We'll just stand across a crevasse and look innocent about it, it's fine. We're safe, I'm sure. Right, let's get this going, hey? Scarecrow song, Valeria Fire? If you look, I actually played it at the right tempo. Amazing! You another hot piece hidden away. I'm coming! Nice to see you, sir. Thank you for the hearts! So all that's left really between us and heading to a next location is the All Might Mask. So that begs the question. Can we even get it? Those of you guys have said I need a whole 500 rupees, but I don't know how this thing goes if I blew the thief up. Blowing the thief up was not a good move, let's put it that way. Heart piece collecting all over the place, I want to get to 16 hearts soon enough. What were you at, half a heart container already? Great, however, we're going to need to move the time along to last day. It might be easier to dance the night away with a scarecrow or talk to Granny and do it that way. Probably been, would have been good for us to collect some more money though around the place. They have a treasure chest round after all. Right, so we got dawn on the second day. We need it to be supposedly quite late on the first day for the curiosity shop to get it in. On the third day, even. It didn't move forward then. I'm sure I played it right. Let's move it. Nine to the second day, 36 hours remain. Move it, move it, move it forward. So much time traversing to do right now. Dawn of the final day, we can move it forward to night, which will be six o'clock, but we still need to move the time forward in a natural progression. I wonder if Granny's somewhere in the inn on the final day. We need someone who can move it forward only a couple of hours nicely. Keep moving the time! So we have a couple of hours to pass in order to get this moving. Let's see if we can meet Granny and make her do a couple of hours for us. I thought there was one really long book and one slightly shorter book, if I'm right in saying. May as well pick up these treasure chests while we're around as well. 
We've already picked them up uh, once before. Getting the aim right for this thing is horrible, though. There we go. Got it. Caught on the top. Only 20 rupees from this one, of course, but 50 rupees from the one up there. Bring us up for... Oh, it's around the other side. Ah, I always get that wrong. Okay, Granny, are you still around in town? Otherwise, we're going to have to move time forward a bit more naturally than it is, which should be... Something we sort out straight away. Get moving! Bunny Hood Mask to help us run around a bit for <laughs> wound. Run around a bit faster. Are you open, Fairy? We don't care about you, I'm afraid. You've helped us out a little in the past, but it's not good enough. Granny, Granny, oh Granny, where are you? Can you move us forward like three hours or so? Granny is gone! She's flown the coop, no wonder though, to be honest. Granny's diary. We're going to take refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Gampy's favourite books. So she fled to Romani Ranch. More than one person has. I guess it's their only bastion of survival in a weird way. The only place they feel is safe, but... Even Romani herself knows that things are going to go down. That's a scary... What's this? That's slightly scary, I've got to say. We got ourselves a silver rupee, so another 100 rupees. We're pretty happy with that. We are indeed with the weird mass creation. I'm sure we'll find out what it is later on. Can we rob this place for another 100 rupees? No, of course, because Ollie's the Goron's in there. We're picking up rupees all around the place, so that's great. We need them. Supposedly the all-night mask is pretty expensive. Waiting for time to tick along so we can head into the curiosity shop and see if... Just, well, blowing up the thief has not derailed us quite severely. Alright, let's hop along here, hey? Onto this bit. And there should be a chest up here as well, you see? Ah, oh, uh, if I don't jump down in an idiotic fashion. No one's in town to stop me just parkouring around the place, though. With all these rupees all around, on the third day we can reach that 100 rupee chest, which is something we've learnt that is new. Can I just... hook shot onto that bit of wood? Oh, even though it doesn't actually reach. No, we can't. So we actually have to jump from pillar to post. Okay, we can jump up on there to get round here. Because of course we can see another chest on the map. Now it's all about reaching that. Don't have to use the hook shot to get to it, but whatever. We need to earn ourselves some money. Another hundred rupees, great. Let's head to the curiosity shop now and see if there's anything for sale. 400 rupees exactly. We're making some money. The problem is we have to make so much of it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All night mask, I want you. Okay, open at 10 p.m. So we still have to wait another hour more or less. But it's just there at the quarter past nine. Come on, tick along time. We can end the postman's office, however. Is the postman still here? 
He is indeed. What's up, sir? Oh, I want to flee, but it's not written on the schedule. To me, the delivery schedule is the highest priority. Sir, that's a bit silly of you. We'll check your letters, though. Yeah. To myself, you've been doing a great job delivering the mail. I have a request for my hard-working self. All of the townsfolk have taken refuge. I want myself to flee, too. Even if it's not written on the schedule, I want myself to flee. Please, from me. He just can't flee no matter what, it seems. Can't head into the changing room and steal his hat, it seems. That sucks. Poor guy of his schedule screwing him from safety, even though there's no way he'd be safe from a moon colliding. Please, Mono, don't slack off. The heavens and the wife are watching. Mayor Dotor. Poor guy. Mailman to his core. I respect that. We love mailmen here. That sounds really wrong, actually. You know what I meant as a long time Zelda's viewer, I'm sure, but you know. That was weird. I'm never saying that again. 10 o'clock! The Curiosity Shop! Are there bombs on display? No, they're not! Sorry, I don't serve masqueraders! We know! I always wear your mask! Come in! You gotta look around, I'm doing a special sale! Check it out! What is it? Tonight's bargain is the all-night mask, for use at bedtime. I forget when this was made, but it sure is a freaky mask, see? When you put it on, you can try and try to fall asleep, but you won't be able to. Pretty creepy, huh? Okay, we'll check the bargain. How much does it cost? 500. As you guys said, so we need another 100 rupees from the bank. All ready to pick it up and listen to some bedtime stories and then head on to newer climax next episode. Right, we haven't evacuated. We want 100 extra rupees, sir. Yes, Olives, I've got loads of rupees. I didn't actually see how much, but I know I've got loads, so it's fine. We're 100 down, though, so we'll have to pick up our pocket money next time. Wait, wait why am I depositing? That was not what I intended to do. Give me the rupees back. I'm so... No, I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm so used to depositing that I just autopilot it. This is what happens when you try to skip stuff. Yeah, I joked with you, sir. We were withdrawing. Yes. Thank you for the rupees. Yes, good, good. Cheers for holding around. 200, good. You're charging me four rupees. That's rude. I know it's not that much, but still. Bank fees suck. I like my rupees being my rupees. Anyway, sir, we have 500. Give us the mask. Come in. you got to look around. We know you're doing a special sale. We want to check it. And we get the all-night mask. You got the all-night mask. Apparently this mask won't let you drift off to sleep even if you want to, where for C? You bought a weird mask, this was added to your notebook. Oh, I don't have nothing else to sell, I kid you not. So can I buy something? No. Bye bye sir, thanks, take care buddy. So with the all night mask got and a few more heart pieces, next episode we'll pick up a couple more by reading some bedtime stories or trying to stay awake through them, before heading off to Climate's New. Off to Arcana. Bye bye.